Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another video here on Past Age of Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's great for you to come back. It's good to see you. Uh, we've been on a little bit of a break. You've been watching a lot of like pre-recorded materials, and I've been getting falling very, very behind in my responsibilities to you guys. I actually tell you about things like Marvel Heroes of Vega and loot boxes. Right now, we want to see what the actual contents of these are. Uh, we want to see what the drop rates are. We've been doing these for a long time now. If you haven't seen any of them previously, I go through these with a fair pace and a fair clip. Uh, but people have complained that I've talked about too, too stuff too little. I've talked about stuff too much. But literally all we've got right now to kind of expect from this is Halloween costumes and Halloween themed costumes. So if you already know what's inside these boxes, this is all just a numbers drop for you. But for if you're like me, that you're kind of like seeing these for the first time, then let's check out and see what kind of stuff is actually inside it. So obviously we're going to do our usual. We're buying 25. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. I hate it. I still hate it. I still really hate buying these. It's not my money, but it still pisses me off. Like going, like, ah, I feel like someone inside me is broken. Okay, so spooky loot box number one of twenty-five. Let's take a look. Four Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Colossus, 10 Relics of Wakanda, 25 Marvelous Essence, a Iron Man cheer, and 5 Ultimate Power Upgrades. That is actually quite a lot of shit inside a single box. Wow. Okay, so 29 Marvelous Essence. Uh, Colossus, a character I haven't actually maxed out yet, so that's going to be useful. Relics are always useful, and an emote. That, even though it's actually not the coolest stuff in the world that you actually want costumes-wise and all those kind of things, that's actually a pretty decent drop, especially with the 5... All the power upgrades, I think they're what, like 2,000 uh, Eternity Splinters each, or 2,000 um, Marvelous, uh, or 200 Marvelous Essence each. In a stack is actually quite nice, um, especially if you've got a lot of characters in your you are maxing out at this point, which I'm starting to get to the point where I've got plenty of characters that are at 60. So um, let's take a look at box number two. For Marvelous Essence, a small character experience token for Black Widow, an experience boost, a combination boost. A random hero ultimate gift and a Nova show off icon. Yeah, a much weaker box. Um, I already have Black Widow maxed out, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, for all the other things that are in it, not worth the money that's inside it. Uh, so that's two down, not a single costume yet out of the, what, maybe it? I think there is actually added to the list. Uh, not good news, not good news, folks. War Marvelous Essence, Lightweight Armor Plate, 10 Relics of Wakanda, a large character experience token for the Hulk, a shield supply boost, and another two shield supply boosts. So a stack of three of those and 10 Relics of Wakanda are the only things that really kind of stand out to me in that box. And we're three down, no costumes. Uh, it would be nice to get at least one of the cheap ones. And there's a couple of costumes I'm really looking forward to getting in this. Specifically the Hulk and Gambit. That's, a two, that's the, the two that I want. So hopefully we get that one enhanced and one actual like cheap uh, low tier one at some point in this. Or Marvel's Essence, a minor experience boost, and ex another full experience boost. 20 relics of the Keeper him, a shield supply boost, and 50 legendary marks. <laughs> Good for supplies and gear, I suppose, but... And speeding up the experience levels of characters, but... <laughs> yeah. That Wolverine never has to wait around like this. Um, I, I, it's making me wait around for an actual good costume. Sorry, Kelly. Five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, a credit chest. One of the garbage credit chests. Not fun. Not good. Let's move on. A large character experience token for Jean Grey. Ten unstable molecules and five ultimate power upgrades. Ultimate power upgrades seem to be actually falling a lot easier than I normally expect. That is actually a lot of them in like a single stack, and that's happened twice. Maybe they've actually done a rejig of the loot tables, but um, as much as I value them, I've got a massive stack of these already. I could probably max out most of the people's ultimates to like level 10 that I have maxed out at 60 already. I'm never going to prestige anyway, so... Eh, not great. I'm not, not liking the drop rates so far in these boxes, especially with one of these sitting in the fucking middle of it. When are you going to just get, remove those from the actual crates? Remove the crate... The, remove the 5,000 credits credit chest from the loot table. Make that a drop in the game, not inside one of these paid boxes, man. War Marvel's Essence, a futuristic alloy, a loaded credit chest, 10 legendary marks, War Machine show-off, and Moon Knight Earth-X costume, the first costume of many, we hope. 
One in six is the odds, so... <laughs> what, uh, just below 20%? Yeah. So one costume out so far. Uh, I actually like this, I like this Moon Knight costume. It's actually pretty cool. This version of Mark Spector was powered not by the god of vengeance, Conchu, but by inhaling vibranium, thus making him unkillable. When the Stone of Conchu was later discovered by Marvell, Mark was banished to the realm of the dead. So the Earth X version of Moon Knight was unkillable because he inhaled vibranium? Wait, huh? How did, how did vibranium make him unkillable? To like absorb the vibrations of every bullet that hit him, so it would like go boom. It's, it's a very Plastic Man kind of origin for Earth X Moon Knight. I love that it's Ragman style costume though. I actually like that. It is kind of beating out the uh, Mister Knight vest, the sleeveless jacket one that I actually have him currently in. It may be the one I'll switch to whenever we actually get to play as him because I do like capes. I'm not a big man who goes no capes. I like capes. Capes can be fun. So what else we got here? Four marvelous essence, a minor experience boost, ten relics of Wakanda, a large character experience token for magic, a Captain Marvel cheer, and an overflowing credit chest of one hundred thousand. And that's actually not too bad of a chest, but the rest of this is actually a really shit drop. Um, so we've still one costume for seven crates. Whenever I was getting drop rates previously of closer to 50, 60 percent. That's not cool. They were, we, there's going to be a need to be a lot of catch up going on here. This is starting to feel more like the crates that we got for the. Is it Defenders? Is that what we call? Is that yeah? That's the uh, Hell's Kitchen crates that they actually did. Uh, they were not a fun drop rate. So four marvelous essence, Winter Soldier spray paint, currency boost, ten eternity splinters, fifty legendary marks, and fifty relics of Wakanda. So we got on our full stack of Wakanda at least, but. That's still not a great drop rate. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm feeling mildly nauseous the fact that the people are spending money on these crits at the moment because as as much as these are great, there's a lot of util utility in these. Um, you come to these crits for costumes that are actually kept in behind them, not this stuff. Keep the like that's my point was previously. Keep the drop rates between forty and sixty percent. Don't make people buy five crits. If you buy a stack of five crits and end up with no costumes, you'll be fucking raging. Two attorney splinters, four marvelous essence, a currency boost, shield supply boost, a duplicate costume bonus essence of 50. So we actually have a secondary costume. We got a second costume out of the 25. So we're actually at nine boxes, two costumes. I already have this costume. So it's either another 50. It has to be one that I already have. That's actually you know, like a rare or high end one. I'm trying to think who what it might be. Wow, I actually can't. I'm actually finding it difficult to think from the list. We'll need to go back over that list and find out which ones I already have before we actually did this. Um, I've got a feeling it might be, might be, Blade, but I don't know why the Blade original costume is going for fifty Marvel's Essence. Um, twenty five Eternity Splinters, and the rest of that was uh. Not brilliant at all. Oh, the, like whatever I say, it's not brilliant at all. Costumes. That's what we came here for. That's the important thing. We've got two of them so far. So two and nine. Two and nine. Four Marvel's Essence of Minor Experience Booth. A Cosmic Fragment. 20 Relics of Asgard. 10 Unstable Molecules. And a Duplicate Costume Bonus Essence of 15. Now, I kind of think this one actually is probably more the Blade one. But that's three costumes in 10. Three and 10. 30% uh, drop rate. Okay. Okay, okay, you're, you're, you're redeeming yourself now. A 30% drop rate, 3 and 10. For Marvel's Essence, a shitty as fuck credit chest, a loaded credit chest, 10 unstable molecules, shield supply boost, and Punisher Frankencastle costume. This is the costume that I thought I wanted until I actually saw it. I'm not a huge fan of this costume, but I'm a huge fan of Frankencastle. I actually think it was a really weird and goofy way of actually doing the character. After being killed by Wolverine's son, Dakin, Frank Castle was reconstructed by Morbius and the Legion of Monsters. In this hulking form, Frank Castle helped save the Legion's members from the famed monster hunter, Robert Hell's guard. Frankencastle. So right at the end of that, uh, the Frankencastle story, as far as I can remember, after Frankencastle, he was actually killed properly. 
and then brought back by the Angels and given a trench coat where he could reach in and pull the arsenals of heaven. That is actually probably my favorite time period of Frank, even though it was probably one of the shorter ones where they said, you're going like, oh, I can't make Frank a god. Or like, a, essentially a weapon of God. And I'm going like, why? Why not? Why can he not be the saint of killers? Frank Castle as the saint of killers. That, without a, with a tragic backstory, but a redeemed character. I could see that. I could see that. Like a, a warrior angel. Just give him a flaming sword and he's ready to rock and roll. So yeah, uh, Frank and Castle. Not too bad. I like it. Uh, I like the design of the character, If even if the costume isn't brilliant. The, the big robotic arm on the side looks really ganky whenever you, you see him holding his guns in the actual pose. But we'll take a look at that actually after this whenever we go through the costumes. So 4 and 11. And actually we had a, we've got two good ones so far. I think Frankencastle is probably one of the higher costumes. Actually probably 35 or 50 tier. So yeah, otherwise in the box, a unstable molecules. A couple of credit chests. Not great. I mean essentially you're getting two garbage items to get a good item. And that's Sometimes that's the way these these cookies crumble. So yeah, we've got 11 costumes, 11 boxes down. We continue on. 11 boxes down, four costumes. So four and 11. Four Marvelous Essence Energized Particles, a Currency Boost, a Random Hero Ultimate Gift, a Duplicate Costume Bonus Essence, and the Ghost Rider Secret Wars Costume. So we got two costumes in one box, even though it's one that we already have. So we've gone from four to six costumes in one box, which is kind of impressive. Uh, Straight from the Coliseum of Battleworld comes Johnny, satanic stuntman Blaze, as he races against the other spirits of Ignition to win in limited freedom from the area's games. So, Johnny Blaze... I don't know... Is this a... I'm, because the costume design looks to me like an old Secret Wars costume. Is this from the most recent Secret Wars, whenever it says Battleworld? It makes me think so so uh this is a version of johnny blaze i've never seen i've uh, i have not read the modern secret war story in any way shape or form i'm completely unfamiliar with it so maybe <laughs> it's worthwhile i actually go back and read that one particular storyline i thought the whole battle world thing was a bad idea in the comics just because like all right shove all the realities together but in the end up all you're going to do is like separate them off afterwards and then move one or two people around which they did with like old man logan and like, spider gwen and Miles Morales, I think, we're all kind of transported into the 616 universe in the end up. So yeah, um, don't know what costume that was, but we got two in a row. Six and 12. All right, six and 12. We're up to 50%. We got a 50% drop rate by, just by uh, one box having two. All right. Four Marvelous Essence. Heroes for Hire Spray Paint, 10 Routes of Wakanda, Black Bolt Cheer, which is going to be useful. May I actually be using that in the new character? Accommodation Boost, and Cyclops Showing Off, which nobody wants to see. Nobody wants to see Cyclops Showing Off in any way, shape, or form. Uh, garbage box in a lot of ways, but um, nice Black Bolt Cheer, even though, because he's just a brand new character, so you're not going to see as often as stuff floating about, I imagine. But yep, 10 Rolls of Wakanda, Combination Boost, only thing's really of value in here. I really need to find a way to get rid of all these spray, spray paints, because I don't need them. And um, open the next spooky box. For Marvelous Essence, a hollow Stark Flourish. 10 Relics of Asgard, a combination boost. 10 Unstable Molecules and 50 Relics of Xandar. Which is nice, another stack of Relics of Xandar. I am pretty much ready for Relics for like my top 10 characters now at this point. Um, as much as I like getting them, uh, there's a limit to how many times they can be useful. Especially if you're getting stacks of 50. Alright, so we're down to 20 boxes in. We're still at six costumes. So at 15, we're at 15 and six now. Or, well, six costumes and 15 boxes. Four Marvelous Essence, a shitty as fuck credit chest. A currency boost, 10 eternity splinters, 10 unstable molecules. What? No, yes. Ten, and Punisher show off. Hey, we get to do the show off with Frankencastle, I imagine, after this. But, um,. No, that's not a great. That's not a great drop at all. Not at all. One combination, one currency boost. Um, a I call I, um, emote. I was trying to find the right word for that, and a credit chest. No, no, not cool with that. So fifteen costumes. Then we're sitting with six, six and fifteen. So let's keep looking. Four marvelous essence. Vision spray paint. That's actually. I don't think I've seen that one before. Astral essence. A large character experience token for Punisher. Random Hero Ultimate Gift, and 5 Ultimate Power Upgrades. So that's 15 Ultimate Power Upgrades just from this stack alone. Jesus Christ, there's going to be at least one character maxed out before we're finished. I need to actually start using these all. I think they, I, whenever I realize that what their top stack is, if they stack to 99, then I'll have to use them at that point. Um, 
Harsh character experience still going for Punisher. Nice enough, but otherwise, not a great chest in any way, shape, or form. Um, yeah, that was a pretty garbage one, guys. Five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, futuristic alloy, ten eternity spunders, shield supply boost, and another two shield supply boosts in a stack of three. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> nothing. Um, nothing of massive interest in there in the actual materials that we got. Uh, shield supply boost, as always, useful to get, especially if you're actually like trying to open boxes and kit out a new character as you're swapping through with them, or you actually end up just having a stack of them sitting by the wayside, like I have. I think I'm on like 30 supply boxes just sitting stored away, waiting for the next time I have a character already that I want to use. So... Five legendary marks, four marvelous essence, high tech fabric, combination boost, ten unstable molecules, and the Hulk Revengers costume. Yes, we have got one of the two costumes I really goddamn wanted. I really wanted the Revengers Hulk costume because that looks fucking terrifying. That is actually that is goddamn abomination, Hulk. In an alternate universe where death ceased to exist, known as the Cancerverse, the Avengers came to become twisted versions of themselves, the Revengers. Hulk in the universe was a demonic, scarred monstrosity who came to battle the Guardians of the Galaxy head to head. Wow. Scary Hulk. Scary demon horned Hulk. Not cool, guys. Not cool. But at the same time, as best design so far of any of the Halloween costumes I looked at. Also, best design of any of the Hulk costumes that are currently available for the character. At 75 Marvelous Essence, even if you, like, if you just want a good Hulk costume, that's, this is the one, I, this is the one I'm going to be using for my Hulk. I actually have, I've got Planet Hulk in the last batch of ones. I actually prefer this one, and I'm going to probably be using Revengers Hulk if I ever switch back to Hulk again. Um, you know what? Give me a Revengers She-Hulk, and I am in your debt. Gazillion. Give me a Revengers She-Hulk. That'd be kind of cool. Actually, if I just give me any She-Hulk costumes, I want to see more She-Hulk costumes. In fact, give me a CIO costume that's hers, Jennifer Walters, and that'll be fucking hilarious. Just small, chilled out, Jennifer Walters, punching things around. It'd make me happy. So, let's see what's inside the next box, because I'm actually kind of excited now that we've got, what, we're a 7 and... 7 and... Is 7 and 17? 7 and 17, is that what it is? Four Marvelous Essence, Winter Soldier Spray Paint, and the turn ex ex what the an experience boost. An Iceman Cheer, 50 Relics of Atlantis, and a duplicate costume bonus essence of 15. So we're actually at 8 costumes now, at, yeah, 8 and 19, uh, yeah, 8 and 19, isn't it? 8 and 19. So, uh, you know, just, uh, but you're sitting at the 40% mark still. This is actually, that's in the sweet spot I always said. 40% to 60% should be what the costume drop rates are actually like. Mentally, you can get a bad run of costumes, but shit, man, that's the kind of point. It's RNG, but yeah, they're sitting at the 40% mark, which is quite reasonable. It's reasonable. It's just, just below a, a, a one in, like a one in two chance of getting the costume. Um, obviously, this is one that we already have. We'll go through the list of them afterwards just to make sure what ones I already have, but we, we, st we, get, we still have six boxes left. The one costume I want to get in these six boxes is Gambit as Death. That is the costume that we are chasing for. We're chasing for it in the last few boxes. I want Gambit as Death in my collection. I will play as him happily if I can get the Gambit as Death costume. Five Eternity Splinters, four Marvelous Essence, Energized Particles, ten Unstable Molecules, an overflowing credit chest, and 50 Relics of Subterranea. That's a lot of goddamn relics in these last 20 boxes. Um, yeah, I've got at least another two stacks of everything sitting there now. Um, same thing with the ultimate power upgrades. Big stacks of both of those in these boxes. Uh, must be kind of sitting in the higher tier of prizes, especially if they're kind of competing with costumes for drops here. So, yeah, not brilliant, but we keep on going. We've got five left. Still hold out hope. Four Marvelous Essence Mechanical Components. An experience boost. Random Hero Ultimate Gift, a Blade Cheer, and 50 Relics of Atlantis. More stacks, more emotes, more ultimate gifts, more boosts, but not more costumes. We're down to four costumes. We're at 21 and 9. So 9 and 21, wasn't it? Or 8 and 21? Eight and, no, 9 and 21. Wait, no, 8. 8 and 21. Sorry. My bad, guys. I'm actually almost losing count there. 8 and 21. I'm good. 
Not good. Give me, give me two more, guys. Give me two more in these four. Make it 10. 10 and 25. Yeah? 10 and 25. Two Attorney Splinters, four Marvel Assassins, 10 Relics of Subterranea, 25 Marvel Assassins. Well, that's actually 29 Marvel Assassins altogether. Angela Cheer and an overflowing credit chest. Eh, 29 doesn't mean a costume. Admittedly, it's enough to buy. Actually, it's not enough to buy any costume. The minimum bought costume is what, 50, isn't it? 50 or 75? <sighs> Have a costume in one box. I don't know. We've got three costumes left. Let's keep going. We still, we've still got hope. we still got hope. Four Marvel Essence, Lightweight Armor Plate, Currency Boost, 10 Legendary Marks, a le large character experience token, four Captain Marvel, and another stack of five Ultimate Power Upgrades. Sweet Jesus Christ. Like, is that two characters completely filled? Just of ultimate power upgrades in these boxes. Uh, we've got two more boxes left. Not a massive excitement. Um, the, both these boxes have to have costumes in it. You get us 10, to, 10 out of 25. And that is going to be pretty surprising if we do get that. Hopes, thoughts, 12. Two costumes in each box. We already got one two, bo two costume box so far. Maybe. Why not? Could be. Let's see what we got. Four Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, Cosmic Fragments, 25 Marvelous Essence, a duplicate costume bonus essence of 50. So we got a costume. Sadly, it's one I already have, but we got a costume. Just fair play. And 50 Legendary Marks. So, yeah, we're actually at nine costumes. Um, we got one chance left. 25 Marvelous Essence in the box anyway, so 29 Marvelous Essence plus a 50. That's actually a 75, that's a 79 Marvelous Essence box that we just got. That's actually a costume. That is a like even if it is a duplicate costume, it's actually like even with the rest of the comments box, that's a one of the low-level costumes bought on outright. Excuse me, got a little bit of I'm feeling a little bit in indigestion worrying about this last box. Other than that, my experience boost, cosmic fragment, and the 50 legendary marks. Clear mm. enough to another rare item. Or no, another legendary item to be working from. But we've got one costume left. Come on. Come on. Go on, give us give us Gambit. Gambit! Four Marvelous Essence, a minor experience boost, a loaded credit chest, a large character experience token for Spider-Man, a matrix of unbinding, one matrix of unbinding in the last crate of the entire set. You abject motherfuckers. <laughs> I thought you had removed it from the fucking loot table. I hadn't seen a single one up until this point. Why the fuck? Why? <sighs> And 25 Eternity Splendors. I will unbind your motherfucking Matrix gazillion. Jesus! What, what? There always had to be one. There always had to be one. So, and then total. Eight costumes, 25 boxes. Multiply by four, four eights, two eights, 16, 16, 16, 20, 32. 32% chance of getting a costume in your boxes of this set. This math, you know? Um, that's below my that's below my threshold of that's okay. This is actually in the same threshold as the Defenders boxes, the uh, Hell's Kitchen boxes. I know it's just a Halloween event, but guys, keep it above 40. Keep it above 40 is actually a, 40 is still a healthy number for any Kind of like purchasable item if you're a drop rate of costumes. Especially because these boxes are four costumes. Everything else in it is a negative win. Doesn't matter what it's worth in Marvelous Points otherwise. This is actually for the costume. That's why that's why you advertise the you don't advertise like these boxes have a higher increased rate of dropping ultimate gift tokens. No, you advertise it as being the boxes that have the costumes in it. Because otherwise people would just buy enough boxes to get the Marvelous Essence and then buy them outside of this. This is where you actually want to be. That you want to be keeping people happy with this. And below forty percent is not a happy spot for people to be in. Um, I know people complained about me complaining about this before, but god damn, you really that really needs to be realized that forty percent is the healthy level to actually be doing this at. All right, so let's see. 
Um, I know I'm. I, I don't have enough points to buy any more boxes. But what I'm going to do is go through this list of character costumes that we have. So Marvel Knight Earth X, we got him. Black Cat Pop Star, I have from another costume. Venom Toxin, we did not get. Um, that is actually a costume I like the look of. I don't particularly care for Venom after my one to sixty run. I'm really not interested in playing him again. But um, Toxin's a cool character costume. Blade Original, I have Hulk Revengers, we got Punisher Frankencastle, we got Ghost Rider Sea Wars, we got so one, two, three costumes so far out of the stack and the rest that we actually already had um psylocke lady mandarin i actually have lady mandarin deadpool the kid and gambit is death the only enhanced costumes we didn't get a single one of those so i imagine they're actually like um cosmic tier they'd be like a hundred we would have gotten so the 50s that we kept getting were things like psylocke ghost rider and punisher so because we got like three or four of those that's actually probably most of them yeah that that, that was uh not massively entertaining, in my opinion, but we still got some interesting costumes. Obviously, Toxin and Death are the, like the still last two that actually be worthwhile getting in that, like the my, um, ones I'd be interested in. We're going to take a quick look in the roster at the costumes that we just received before we actually call it a night. So yeah, Revengers. That looks fucking badass, man. That is a great Hulk costume. Such a good Hulk costume. Oh, man. I love it. I, it's even like the wee underarm kind of like scars and stuff. The veininess. The, I, like, I love that Hulk. That's a great goddamn Hulk costume. So, uh, yeah. That is going to be kept on him from now onwards until end of time. We missed out on Toxin. No one actually have him. 75 to unlock him. Not a high-end tier costume we really needed. Uh, what else did we end up having? We got Punisher, Frankencastle. Take a look at you. I'm so glad to have the Omega effect. That's the one I desire. We got that in the previous set of costumes. But Frankencastle, he looks janky as fuck. But I mean, that makes sense because the whole point is that he is janky. He's a, he shouldn't be really living. <laughs> it, it does like a, 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 like a mildly purr kind of like character model from a mod of Marvel Heroes Omega rather than actually a wonderfully detailed character design. Kind of like that one. But um, I'm not too pissed at it. I'm not too pissed at it. Ghost Rider, obviously we have the Secret Wars costume. We don't really... <laughs> I don't think I'll ever play him as this costume design. Like, as much as I said earlier on, I love capes. That thing looks goofy as hell. Like, it reminds me a lot more of like a much older kind of like um, Ghost Rider design rather than actually the modern Ghost Rider. <laughs> Scarface himself. Um, Who else do we actually get for? We didn't get for anybody in this tier. We of course got for Moon Knight. Orthex costume. Take a quick look at his. <laughs> I forgot the fact that he flies in. Um, yeah, it's just a, he looks like a hand ninja. <laughs> I mean, even the fact that his eyes are like kind of closed out and actually just white. Um, that was all the costumes that we unlocked. And the one that I really wanted, sadly, that we did not get. The 150 for Gambit's death, which I think is a cool costume, but I may just purchase it myself in the future. So yeah. That was all the character designs for all of the um, costumes that we unlocked. Obviously, there was a number of stacks of duplicates that we got over time, as well as all of the other prizes that we got as well. So, yeah, guys, not happy with the crates this time. Really not all that happy. 32% um, is not a great number. 40 was the sweet spot, guys. If they had just done 40%, um... I would be fine, even if it was actually like a number of duplicates. I can understand with the lesser amount of costumes they probably add in those air boxes for a short period of time. The drop rates are meant to be lower, but the Hell's Kitchen boxes were not a pleasant experience. Neither was that in a lot of ways. Although I think the table has been tweaked to a point where I'm actually not as frustrated with what I was getting. Plus the emotes are a new thing that are actually filling up a lot of the spaces in the boxes tables, which you're not getting otherwise in many other places. So, uh, yeah, guys, that was my opinion on the spooky loot boxes for Marvel Heroes Omega. Uh, we'll be probably back again very soon with some Black Bolt gameplay and many other things besides. And I hope you actually have all a great day. If you happen to enjoy watching this video and you actually enjoy seeing stuff here by me talking about this game and many other games besides, make sure to hit the subscribe button up in the corner or the notification button or the follow button or the like button or whatever it may actually be in the source that you are catching this on. We are available many of the time live or on YouTube in pre-records as well as VidMe. If you ever want to find me, just remember to look for the name, Passage of Skin. Once you memorize the name and search for it, then you will find me. I'm not trying to hide. I'm easy to find. 
And if you happen to be watching this on YouTube, there'll be a box up there. I would really appreciate you hitting. There'll also be a box over here that actually will be a playlist. Most likely boxes like this, more unboxings. Over in the far side will actually be the most recent video on the channel. And right here will be a video just for you. Based on the user analytics and the things that you do on YouTube and all the things that you have watched in the past, it will pick a video that I have made that you will enjoy. And that one in particular, I highly recommend you should check out. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see all you dudes in the next video. Bye.